What is going on, my friends, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well, we got some pretty interesting news about Solana, and it did recently just break another record, actually surpassing Ethereum in a pretty important metric, but that has sparked off a little bit of debate, and I wanted to just kind of comment on it and let you guys know my thoughts. You guys know I post daily Solana videos for the most part, at least four, five, six of them a week, so if you do enjoy them, do consider subscribing to the channel, but let's get straight into today's news. So what we can see here is that Solana beats Ethereum for the first time in history, but there's a catch. Now, what they basically went on to say was that for the first time ever, Solana had surpassed Ethereum in TEV. Now, TEV is total economic value. And what we can see is that Solana generated $2.24 million in TEV on May 12th, while Ethereum only did a $1.9 million. Now, this is the first time that Solana has generated more of a TEV in one single day than Ethereum, of course, leading many Solana investors to talk shit to Ethereum investors as per usual. Now, we do have a bit of an issue, though. What we can see here is that there's been many critics saying that it is unfair to consider only the pure TEV of Solana and of Ethereum without considering the fact that Ethereum have, has layer twos, which of course generate their own TEV. And I do believe that this is a very valid argument, okay? I think that this is a very valid argument in the sense that they're saying, listen, we're only talking about Solana at its core at 2.2 and Ethereum at its core at 1.9. But realistically, Ethereum has layer twos like Polygon, Matic, or whatever you may consider in which they're generating their own TVE of hundreds of thousands, if not millions themselves. And so if you were to consider the layer twos and Ethereum's layer one in comparison to just Solana's layer one, then realistically Ethereum and its layer ones and twos are realistically going to be generating higher TEV than Solana. Now, is this worth arguing about? No, it's not worth arguing about. Is it funny that people are arguing? Yes, it's a little bit funny that it's arguing. And I just come to realize, like, how much of dorks are we arguing about TEV? But anyway, so my opinion, okay, first of all, I think this is great. I think that this is great, and I think it's a good thing for Solana. The fact that it's just consistently showing more and more, not only that its ecosystem is thriving, but itself as a blockchain is thriving. Its company is thriving. The overall expansion and development, the TVL, the growth of the ecosystem, all of these things are doing extremely well, and its price isn't reflecting it that much quite yet. Now, realistically, it can be up, you know, 10, 20x, depending on where you bought it at. I know we're up 15x currently here on the channel, but realistically, it, it still has more growing to do. I think its price still hasn't reflected it completely. I still think that where, where Solana is now is worth way more than it was previously in the last bull run, and there's no reason why it can't smash that all-time high. And so because of that, I still do think that there is opportunity to the upside, and seeing certain metrics like this, and seeing the fact that you know Solana is breaking these records and doing these things, it's just a good thing. It's just a good thing for our Solana holders, because it shows us that what we've been saying is true. And what we're saying is that Solana has the potential and the credibility to get up to you know that $300, $400, $500, $600 mark. No one can change my mind, and this just further instates that thesis, okay? Now, Regarding the Solana Ethereum beef, blech, right? I agree with the Ethereum side, but I also agree with the Solana side. I think they're both right. I think they just don't want to accept that they're both right. Okay. Solana side is right in saying that, well, if we're looking at the core, the layer one itself, the actual company's blockchain, the thing itself, Solana generated a higher TEV. We're not talking about the layer twos and these external companies that have come on board to make your chain better. We didn't need someone to do that. We're talking about the layer one itself. We had more TEV than you. That is true. And there's just no fighting that. But Ethereum saying, well, us as a whole, as an ecosystem, which is something that Solana finds itself proud of on a consistent basis, is its ecosystem. We generated more because when you consider the companies that have helped scale our layer one, then our layer one kind of has generated more TEV than you. And that is true. It does not matter, okay? At the end of the day, they are both right, but neither one of them being right or wrong is going to have any impact on anything, so there's no point in arguing. The whole focus and the whole thesis needs to be the fact that Solana itself is just showing how credible it is, and Solana wasn't given a chance. No one, no one, back in 2022, whenever all hell broke loose, would have said that Solana would be out here breaking records at Ethereum, you know, and, and outperforming Ethereum. That alone is a win, right? This is something Ethereum should be doing. What if the, 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 the TEV that Ethereum is generating and the L2s and everything, it's what it should be doing because Ethereum is that guy within the world of altcoins. Solana wasn't supposed to have this chance and now look where we are, right? And so because of that, again, I think the argument's stupid. I think in participating in the argument is stupid. Everyone's right. Let's just all make money and shut up, please. Um, but at the end of the day, I do think that for Solana as a whole, this is fantastic news. This is great. And hopefully, obviously, I think that it does it kind of impact my thesis in a positive way. And so because of that, I just wanted to give you a quick update for the day, just to let you know what was going on there, let you know we had some good news and that there was a stupid argument going on that doesn't really change anything. But overall, you guys know I will continue to bring you these Solana videos four, five, six times a week. So of course, if you do enjoy them, as I mentioned before, do like this video so more Solana investors see it. Do subscribe to the channel if you want to see more more and tune in for the next video as I do have another banger for you coming later today. But with that in mind, of course, guys, I will see you all later. Peace out.